Okay, I got a little bit of a treat tonight. Unfortunately, I don't have the greatest camera gear with me. Emlet has sent me two of their newest models, the RTs, uh, RT70 and RT35. Uh, what I've got in my hand right now is the RT70, 70.2, a single 70.2 LED. Uh, it's very deep. Um, smooth reflector. Really get too much of a shot at it there. Yeah, there you go. There's your another treat. Yeah. For those of you who may not know, that's a beaver. Um, anyway, I'm gonna have to do this fairly quickly because I don't have a lot of time, and I promise to get this uploaded. I'm out on Lake Cherokee, and this is the RT70 on its slowest setting. There's one more setting up, and as you can tell, it's not really all that big a deal. Go up again, still not all that big a deal. Funnest part, just go ahead and kick it up as high as it'll go. And as you can see, outside of the bugs, you get easily five to 600 meters to throw out of this light. That's, uh, that's 600 yards away, what you see there trying to get the bugs out of the picture here that's 600 yards away there and the cool thing about this light is you get almost as much flood now short here in front of me you get it you get the best of both worlds you get you get a lot of flood and you get a you get a good deal of uh throw as well now i'm gonna pause this real quick and i'm gonna get one of my more favorite ones the rt35 which is just a <laughs> You're gonna have to see this to believe it Okay, here's the RT 35. That's its absolute lowest setting. You see how tight that spot is and how tight that beam is now That's the same distance uh, <laughs> And that's its lowest setting. I'm not gonna play around with it. I'm just gonna kick it There's its highest setting and as you can see, I can light that entire tree line up. And I'm not standing in the same spot. Where I'm standing from now, that's almost 600 yards away. And as you can see, it is absolutely no trouble at all for this light. None. Uh, there's somebody's house. That house is, uh, well, I'll check the range on it, um, 622 yards away. And it's lighting it up like a candle. There's another house. They can get mad. It doesn't matter to me. It's a lake. Um, but that, if you look at that, that's, that's like a laser beam. Almost. Look at that. That's a shot straight up in the air. Um, those trees you see over there on the other side of the parking area, they're uh, a little over 300 yards away. Now, here's the fun part. I'm going to kick it back down. There's its second high setting. That's, that's medium low. Now, on medium low, there's that same trailer. There's that one. That's medium low. It'll go three levels higher than that. That's medium. That's high. Now, the double click. That's turbo. That that thing is like a laser beam. And this camera, I am really sorry. I don't have my other, my, right now I'm having problems with my other camera. I don't have it with me. Um, it, it, it's just, it's like, it's seriously like a laser beam. Um, from where I'm standing right now, that tree right there, and if I zoom in on it with this camera, it's just going to look like crap. But I know you can see that tree. That tree is 900 yards away. That's the extent of my, it actually may be a little further, but that's, that's the farthest that my rangefinder will go. Um, but just look at, look at that. This uses a, a single 35 high uh, emitter. And um, I will put in the captions um, what, the, um, what the actual output is. And by the way, Emlet got it right this time. The, the output is not uh, below spec, it is actually above 
their rated specifications um, by a good deal. Um, this is supposed to throw 1,338 meters. My calculations have it uh, four meters away from 1,400 meters. Um, 35, uh, 35,000 candela higher than what they rated it at. Look at that. Those trees are 470 yards away. And it's, I mean, that's nothing. And I must understand, I mean, I, I love the RT-70. The RT-70, it's a great light. It'll, uh, it, it does a lot of the same, you know, kind of, it just doesn't have the distance that this single, uh, 35 high has and like I said before you know Emlet had some issues early on about uh, in their early years it, it, some of the drivers just weren't kicking out what it should and it, these they don't have that problem now this this is the 70 um, let's just go ahead and kick it on up in the turbo now see how much bigger the spot is on the 70 uh, now that that shot right there that's a little over four, about 400, 427 yards See how much bigger? See, you actually light up a good deal of the lake with this one. It's not, it's not as much a laser, uh, very tight beam. This, this is, it's a tight beam, but it's also a flood. Uh, and that's, that's a single emitter. That's just, you know, 170.2 emitter. That's all that is. That's nothing else. And that's its highest setting. Uh, you can actually set this right there, which is on its third level and you just run it constantly all the time you see how bright it is still easily bright enough to make those trips across there i was showing you i haven't found a distance yet that i could um shoot with the uh, 35 the rt35 uh and not get in a whole lot of trouble <laughs> everything i've tried to shoot it at so far it, it made the distance easily I mean, look at that that's that's the 70. all right and that, that's on turbo. Now let me grab the 35 real quick. And I'll shoot it the same, at the exact same thing so you can see uh, the, the difference in the tightness of the beam. There's the, the RT35. See how tight that beam is? And that's on turbo. The difference is what's behind it, I mean, doesn't seem no matter how far away it is, it just, it just keeps going and going and going. <laughs> easily going uh again uh there's the 70. see you you get a lot of throw but you also get a lot of flood too both of these lights are extremely reasonably priced uh i was impressed i, I thought they would be you know two three hundred dollars a piece and they're not that at all um the one thing i would advise if you're gonna if you're gonna buy either of them Go ahead and uh, and buy the kit, buy the entire kit, uh, because what they do is they rewrap 30 cues or the cells that you can buy that come with it. Um, try to get you a little shot. Well, you can't. There's not enough light in here. See that tiny little 35 highway down in there? And I mean, it, it looks just like a speck down there. But when you turn it on, it's it's unreal. Um, Buy the whole kit because what they do is they rewrap 35, I mean, uh, uh, 30 cubes. Sorry. Sorry, that's my ham radio there. I apologize. Uh, buy the whole kit because it comes with, uh, they rewrap 30, uh, 30 cues and they put a protection circuit in there. Makes them a little bit longer than, than what they would normally be. And um, they absolutely provide it with enough power. To, to do what they need to do uh, it costs a little extra because you do get those batteries uh, but you get four of them and that comes with them you can take a little piece of plastic out magnetic charging system on it um charles Ristek did a very in-depth uh review of the rt70 i don't know if he has the rt35 but they're outside of the emitter they're identical um <laughs> Uh, Emlet, Emlet excuse me, uh, scared me there for a little while, uh, a few years back. I wasn't too sure, but I'm going to tell you what. These two lights here are a home run. This 35 high, according to them, it's a little over 13, well, in the mid to high 1300s, it'll easily do 1400 meters uh, without a problem. And what I would love to, I'm, I'm going to send them an email and see if I can't talk them into putting a much larger reflector on it 
uh, and just use that same because the power it's it, I'm getting about 2800 lumens out of that 35 high and that's I checked it checked it and rechecked it um, both of these are well over specifications neither, neither one of them were at specifications they were well over specifications I'll put that in the captions uh, below the video I gotta get out of here um I won't get any trouble uh, I, I actually used to work reserves around in this area so I'm, so I'm not really too worried about getting in trouble but I don't want to uh, spook anybody or cause any problems and videos running a little long now but these lights uh you can usually find them i think you can find them on their website for you know they're not even 150 dollars they're, they're they're much less than that and that's for the entire kit uh, and well worth every penny if you want just a, a really really good thrower that, that that 35 high for the price is just excellent uh if you want the best of both wor both worlds the uh, rt70 um it, i just i love them both they're they're great lights and come with everything you need uh i'm gonna sign off here now and get this uploaded so you guys can uh, a lot of people have been asking to see these these lights uh at the same time in the same video i'm sorry i couldn't do side by side because i don't have anything to put a tripod on but at least you'll get to see the difference have a good one guys